title of the presentation is a field evaluation of different PCV2 vaccination protocols. Um, and if you look in your uh, proceedings, uh, it talks about mycoplasma. We'd hope that this would be an evaluation of uh, two different mycovaccination protocols as well. We'll talk a little bit about that as we go along. The, uh, the setting for this trial is a uh, commercial uh, wean to finish uh, system in uh, eastern South Dakota. Uh, the sow farm that the pigs originated from are part of the pipestone system. They're a sow farm that are, uh, we work with in management as well as veterinary service. And uh, it is a farm that has had or had had a history of uh, fairly significant uh, PCVAD uh, going back uh, to 2005, 2006. Uh, the uh, protocol that we had been on was a protocol uh, using uh, two half doses of Respisher 1 combined with two full doses of Circumvent. And we were giving uh, two doses while the animals, uh, while the piglets were still lactating uh, on the sow. Uh, we were given a dose at processing and then a dose again at weaning, or essentially a day prior to weaning. Um, one of the reasons that we were doing that is that this is a shareholder owned farm. And so every week, uh, we wean two to three times a week, send pigs out to the owners of, of these farms, and uh, they essentially wanted the pigs vaccinated prior to arrival. Uh, they want those pigs to come into the nursery and they don't want to have to put a needle in them. And so uh, we developed this protocol uh, to control PCV2 and mycoplasma, and uh, we were having what we considered very successful results. Uh, the trial then was to compare uh, several variations of, uh, of a CircleFlex MycoFlex protocol against the current protocol we had in place with the Respisher 1 and the uh, Circumvent. We were uh, really wanting to look at three different uh, uh, variations of the Flex program. Uh, the first one would be uh, per label at weaning. Uh, the next one was a bit of a variation on what we were already doing, uh, two half doses, a half dose of each product at process and a half dose at wean. And then uh, what our production staff considered the holy grail of vaccination, and that was to be able to give one dose of CircleFlex MycoFlex at processing and uh, hopefully achieve the uh, protection all the way to market. Our study was designed, uh, we, we randomized uh, uh, by the individual pig, we had approximately uh, 1,700 animals in the trial, um, almost 400 in the in the treatment groups, and uh, we also we did uh, include a control group, a group with no vaccine, no circle vaccine, no micro vaccine, uh, because we wanted to determine uh, what the real clinical challenge would be. You can see the treatment groups uh, listed there. Uh, treatment one, a full dose of the CircleFlex MycoFlex at weaning. Uh, treatment group two, the full dose of CircleFlex MycoFlex at processing. We were processing essentially four to five days of age. And then uh, treatment group three, a half dose of the flex mixture, uh, half dose at five days and a half dose again at weaning. And then treatment group number four, the, the protocol that we had been using for probably 12 months uh, prior to initiating this trial. We set up uh, a number of different measurements uh, as we conducted this trial. Uh, we did weigh individual pigs uh, at weaning, or sorry, at processing, again at weaning, again at nursery exit, and then at 150 days post weaning when we basically uh, pulled the animals off the trial. We also uh, did some uh, serological work uh, we bled uh, 30 pigs per treatment group serially at the times uh, that you can see uh, presented there. And what we were essentially looking for was uh, circle virus viremia. We also submitted uh, the, uh, the mortality from the trial. And you'll see that we did have uh, a clinical challenge. So uh, we tried to submit as many animals as possible to the Iowa State Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory for a complete workup. Uh, to determine uh, uh, whether or not we had circle virus, uh, PCVAD lesions, and we also were looking for mycoplasma as well. These photos, uh, I think, demonstrate uh, the uh, clinical effect of uh, PCV2. These are pigs from the trial, and uh, you can see, particularly in the bottom photo, uh, the effects of uh, 
of circle virus viremia, a number of these animals uh, uh, were euthanized and submitted to the, to the diagnostic laboratory and PCVAD was confirmed. Unfortunately, um, we did not uh, have a mycoplasma challenge in this, in this trial. Uh, we were kind of hoping for that, but it, it did not occur. We also noted some uh, symptoms of PDNS as well. And here are the results. Um, we looked at not only those parameters I indicated earlier, but we also we wanted to look at overall mortality by group. We wanted to look at uh, culls. And we also wanted to look at what was most important to our producer shareholders was how many pigs am I going to get to a primary market uh, under the various uh, vaccination uh, uh, regimes that we were testing. And so as you can see, um, average daily gain, uh, we did have a significant difference uh, between uh, several of the groups. You can see by the superscripts uh, that uh, the full dose of CircleFlex at wean, uh, the full dose of, uh, of uh, I'm sorry, the uh, half dose mixture uh, at processing and weaning of CircleFlex and MycoFlex was also statistically the same as the full dose and our current protocol. And these were statistically different from the full dose mixture at five days of age or processing uh, and no vaccine at all. Much of the, uh, those results held true for the other parameters that we were measuring. Um, the one thing that I would point out is that when it came to mortality, only the, uh, the uh, full dose circle flex at 21 days of age uh, was statistically different from the control group. So one of the main results we were interested in is, is Circle flex at weaning and circumvent the way we were using it. Uh, uh, how did it control viral load? And we found that uh, when we looked at it, that these two were statistically similar and different from the other treatment regimens. So the the circle flex at wean and the intervet product given at processing and again at weaning um, were statistically different from controls when it came to viremia. This is uh, a summary of the results when you look at um, statistically different from the controls. And what we saw in our trial was that uh, the full dose flex mixture was the only treatment regimen that was, that was statistically different on all measurements. So, what was incredibly disappointing to our production staff was that we couldn't get the one dose of processing to work. And so uh, that was uh, a pretty uh, obvious outcome of the trial. Um, groups one, three, and four uh, all produced better gain in call results than controls. And the uh, CircleFlex and MycoFlex mixture at weaning was the only one that was statistically different than controls for all three performance parameters evaluated. So our take-home messages, a full dose of CircleFlex at weaning uh, proved to be at least as efficacious as what we were already doing. And uh, the split dosing, uh, which is an extra label use of, this, of the CircleFlex product, uh, was no more efficacious uh, than uh, giving the, uh, the full dose at weaning. I'd like to, uh, to thank uh, the team at Pipestone Vet Clinic that was involved in this trial. And, Probably the one that did the most was uh, uh, one of our staff members, Hannah Walkus, uh, who's a, uh, a health technician for our group. She was really the backbone of this trial.